Hey Collective, what's going on guys? I hope you all are doing good today. We're doing good. Say hi Collective. Are you ready for your reading? I'm still working on it. Yeah. He's looking at all the cards over there. She's like, there's, there's stuff everywhere guys. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great today. We're doing good. Uh, today's my last day of vacation. I dread going back to work tomorrow. I've been off for like nine days. <laughs> it's been nice. I've just been resting and I didn't do anything yesterday. I just took a day off to just rest and recuperate. So, God, my sleep schedule is so fucked up. I didn't get up till 3.30 today. I didn't go to bed till like 6.30 this morning. And my, I've been staying up all night and sleeping in the day. And, oh, my God, I have to get up at 6.45 in the morning. So, I'm going to struggle. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fucking suck, but that's okay. Alright guys, yeah, I love you collective, I'm gonna lay down. Say yeah, okay, I'm gonna think about you in my dreams. Yeah. Alright, you tell everything else so you can get this energetic download and money. Don't fall off your baby in there. Go. Okay, you guys know. Yeah, we go. Alright. So my daughter's gonna be coming by soon. She's getting ready to pop in <clears throat> so I can mail some stuff for her so I'll have to pause it whenever she gets here but I hope you guys will please like and share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so whenever I upload new videos you guys will be notified okay all right guys so let's tap in we got clearing karma kundalini activation okay we got self-love the peacock this message is so awesome. I can't wait to get into this. I've been working on it for quite a while now. You will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself. That which makes you indefinitely unique and beautiful. There are deep wells of untapped inner power and in letting go of negative self-talk. Beautiful. We're on our self-love tour. Clearing karma. <laughs> Activating our kundalini, which is awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. We're focusing on the positive aspects of ourselves. It's going to help us grow as we go through this clearing of this trauma and this karma. And we're getting out of south node energy. So we're coming into the north node energy when you clear this karma. Okay. You come into your north node, which is your destiny and your life purpose. Okay. But you've got to clear all that karma out first and balance that out. And then you're going to step into your north node. Okay. So you're so unique. You're so beautiful. You have deep wells of untapped inner power. So let go of that negative self-talk and love yourself. Okay? Now, talk a little bit about Kundalini. Okay? Because I've got some notes here. So, some of you may not be familiar with Kundalini. Okay? When we're... Ex or I'm going to put the link of this article that I took these notes from. So, that way, if you guys want to read like the whole thing, you can. But there's... Um, my daughter's here. There's tons of information regarding Kundalini activation and how to work with it. So I highly suggest that you tap into Alice in Wonderland's rabbit hole and go in there with that so that you can understand what's happening as you're going through the stages of enlightenment and awakening and Kundalini awakening is a huge part of this journey. And having blocked chakras that's not good when your kundalini has been activated and it's rising it can create a lot of physical symptoms in the body and emotional symptoms mental symptoms you know it's all of it it affects you in profound ways so working on balancing the chakra systems and allowing that energy to flow think of like the snakes on the medical caduceus okay so how the kundalini energy starts it it's at the base of the spine and it lies coiled and it's like a dormant inner like power it's your spirit it's your chi <clears throat> and think of two snakes intertwining and going up throughout the body throughout the chakra systems and then they come up and their heads are like meeting up here above the crown okay so when the kundalini is rising rising that's like serpent 
energy. And so we're going to get into it. Hang on just a second before I start. Let me talk to my daughter. Okay, say hi to the collective. We're sitting here talking. <laughs> She's sitting on Evie's stairs. <laughs> say hi to the collective. I have my Oh my goodness, I have Evie. <laughs> okay. All right, so I don't know where I was. So when we experience Kundalini symptoms, that energy is knocking on the door to get our attention and awareness so that we can make positive changes. When that happens, we can become who we are meant to be and wake up to our destiny. When a soul has taken a body and comes here for a reason, and that person is not living out that purpose, Kundalini can show up as disruptive. So one can change course. It's a sometimes not so gentle reminder. So we don't sleepwalk through life. Okay, so that's when we experience the hard the hard things too. A kundalini awakening is a profound and transformative spiritual experience that involves the awakening of dormant energy at the base of the spine. Kundalini translate to coiled or spiral shaped energy in Sanskrit. <clears throat> And that's why it's like the snake, the, the the serpent energy. Okay, when activated, rises through the energy centers or the chakras along the spine. A powerful surge of energy that can lead to heightened states of consciousness, self-realization, and spiritual enlightenment. Intense energy sensations, altered states of consciousness, heightened intuition, and a deep sense of interconnectedness with the universe is what's going to happen okay it is considered a life changing step on the path to spiritual growth and self-discovery physical energetic and mental blockages that aren't allowing energy to flow can cause pop problematic symptoms okay so when the chakra system is blocked that energy can't flow through and it's extremely disruptive in the being okay so that's why it's so important to keep your chakras balanced it was 717 when i said that balanced um on the and when i say these angel numbers research it because i know that there's a message that's going to tie into this from spirit um but making sure that it's a daily practice you've got to be conscious of it and making sure that you're not allowing blockages to be in your chakras so that as you're going through ascension and enlightenment because it's a pivotal uh, part of the existence of the of the being of mind body heart soul spirit connection okay so that it's properly activated in the light being okay <clears throat> now when we experience these symptoms that energy is knocking on the door to get our attention and awareness so we can make po or positive changes when that happens we can become who we are meant to be and wake up to our destiny Kundalini energy is divine feminine energy that awakens the awareness that exists in all of us. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go through some steps of awakening. One, feeling of crisis or unraveling can look like a midlife crisis or a Saturn return in your birth chart where everything you had committed to previously begins to dissolve or be taken away. Resisting with fear only makes it more painful. So you've got to go with the flow and you've got to allow it. You've got to allow this transformative process to occur. And that's going in and, and clearing this karma, clearing this karmic debt. Okay. And uh, breaking these cycles and patterns so that it won't continue. Okay. Resisting with fear only makes it more painful. So, you know, you've got to. I love you, baby. <laughs> Bye, honey. I love you. So this journey takes courage, discipline, and support to make it through. Because it's not easy doing that work. Okay. Number two, the physical, emotional, and energetic symptoms can feel, uh, you can feel anxiety, depression, and despair. Um, can experience shaking, visual disturbance, inability to relax. A rush of energy or a near-death experience can occur. The nervous system is unable to handle the amount of energy 
that is wanting to move and this can show up in a myriad of ways okay for some it's slow and steady and others it's like really intense and immediate okay <clears throat> don't obsess over the symptoms but find ways to open chakras and allow energy to flow through parts of the body focus on energy moving and releasing blocks that are preventing the body from healing get on the shamanic level the root of the blockage to be healed and addressed okay three you're open to try new things the intensity of activation will often be enough to drive people to try new things <laughs> for sure okay people seek changes in diet they look for healers they leave relationships and jobs they can change their jobs or leave one altogether okay um, all of this is done in an attempt to respond to what is happening on the inside when what we know isn't working we tend to become more open to doing our work right number four support and synchronicities appear unexpectedly we meet the right people attend the right workshop find the right book etc what we need shows up at the right time in the right way number five increased sensitivity to external stimuli can't tolerate what we could before okay just can't tolerate it anymore you vibed out of that vibration 111 on the clock i'm sorry it was 11. oh why did i think it said 111 <laughs> maybe that's important it's, it was 11 22. <laughs> sorry <laughs> Spirit's like, what 11? Activation, you're in, you're in attainment, okay? But you're, you're vibing higher and you're more in direct alignment. There we go with, with your spiritual sense of self. And you will not be able to tolerate or be around lower vibrational energies anymore. You just can't do it. I mean, you have vibed out and you don't want that around you anymore, okay? <clears throat> and you're extremely sensitive to stimuli. You want it quiet. You you like that peaceful energy of a more serene, peaceful, zen-like state of life. It's so calm and peaceful. You start striving more for that. Okay. Um, eat healthier. <clears throat> be and be aware of what you consume on media and online. Okay. Be aware of what your uh, what energy you're allowing to come into you. <clears throat> Uh, change our playmates and playthings as our system adjusts also is going to go on okay we're going to change people that we're around things that we like to do may not serve us anymore you know um, we learn to stabilize it a new homeostasis that's going on in our being because it's a profound shift in what was originally there okay <clears throat> We find our own sacred space and alone time are extremely important, okay? The nervous system is undergoing changes to be able to handle more energy, and this leads to increased sensitivity. This isn't a sign of weakness, but a sign of increased awareness and potential. Number six, <clears throat> awareness of internal energies, intuition, and inner truth. We're more aware of what's around us and we become more sensitive and attuned to the thoughts, feelings, and energies within us. We're more tapped in to source and self, okay? We begin to, to develop a relationship with our soul, our inner teacher, the higher self, the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. What other people say or think about us becomes less important. It's not as important to us because our inner compass is more reliable and clear. Okay. Shame can block our creativity and you may need to work on negative past experiences that can include sexual trauma or wounding. Okay. Because that can cause a huge blockage in the sacral chakra and it affects your creativity and what you manifest in your life and upon the earth. Okay. Feeling blocked and moving forward with our lives. Maybe we need to work on our core, and that's the solar plexus, the navel area, <clears throat> to feel more connected to our personal power, okay, so to empower yourself. We become our own healers by becoming aware of what we need at the moment and learning the skills to take care of ourselves. 
yoga and meditation are two great ways, you know, to, to work with this energy as well. <clears throat> we need time daily to quiet the mind and allow ourselves to look beyond ego and personality to our deeper selves. Knowing the tools that lead to our inner um, transportation or transformation. <laughs> How did I say transportation? <laughs> Knowing the tools that lead to inner transformation is a first step. And just think of like the chariot of positive movement forward, okay? <clears throat> but to actually heal and evolve, we need to use them regularly. So it can't be something that you just do every now and then. It's it's got to be something that's consistent. It's it's a it's a twenty four seven state of consciousness of being conscious of the being, okay, and making sure that it's operating at its perfect, optimal, healthy state that is balanced with all chakras clear and unblocked and open so they're operating at their perfect and healthy state, okay? <clears throat> Increased compassion, altruism, and recognition of oneness is number seven. When we're more aware of ourselves, we're more aware of the world around us. Our compassion for ourselves leads to compassion for others. We wake up to the suffering of others, and because our heart chakra has been opened, we feel it more intensely. This naturally leads to a desire to help and give others the help we received along the way. The interconnectedness of all beings becomes an inner knowing instead of just a thought. Knowledge has become wisdom through our experience, and we desire to use our wisdom and compassion in service to others. It's doing your service work. We can no longer turn away when we see injustice or environmental degradation. We are more grounded and connected to Mother Gaia. The challenge comes in balancing our commitment to self-care while protecting and preserving what's sacred to us. Number eight, sense of purpose and destiny. We gain a growing sense of purpose, our destiny. When we have worked on ourselves to heal our past, know the tools to clear the energy in our body regularly and have made a connection to our heart and soul, then we are ready to deliver our destiny. We can express who we are and feel our connection to the divine more and more. We can begin to do what we came here to do. <clears throat> By giving from the heart, we reconnect to that source, elevating our soul and fulfilling our destiny. When we are living out our destiny, we feel a sense of purpose and energy, a willingness to do whatever it takes to be of, ser of service and show up with our gifts. Exactly. We will be supported by the universe, giving us opportunities to share what we have learned and experienced. Kundalini awakening is for us to show up and be a steward to our world, to become who we were meant to be, to live and integrity with our spirit okay that's beautiful <laughs> that's amazing guys okay that's beautiful energy okay so we've got kundalini activation going on all right beautiful divine feminine energy rising and it has been rising and going on strong for quite a while in the collective okay so this reading is exciting to me. I've been working on this for a while, so I'm excited to share this this with you, okay? So we're going to have some healing journey here, okay? Now. <clears throat> Clearing karma. Kundalini activation. Peacock. Self-love. You will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself. That which makes you indefinitely unique and beautiful. There are deep wells of untapped inner power and letting go of negative self-talk. Okay. We got the miser. The miser is the four of pentacles. It's possessiveness. Being possessive. We got maturity. The Ace of Pentacles. So it's money. So. Possessive with money. Integration. This is temperance. It's being balanced. 
moment to moment. It's the two of pentacles. Exchanges and deliberating. Okay. A long and careful consideration or discussion. And we got the ten of wands. Suppression. It's hard work and burdens here. Okay. So you're working hard on yourself. And you, you may need to be uh, reigning in your spending, holding on, you know, to uh, resources to keep yourself stable. Um, you're integrating the miser, okay? So, and that's clearing karma. So maybe you were more miserly and um, hoarded what you had instead of sharing with others, okay? Um, maybe your ability to do that was suppressed, okay, from moment to moment. It could have been different, but you've gone through a level of maturity here, okay, um, coming out of that energy, because we do like to hold on to our possessions, you know, we, we feel safety and comfort in that, you know, so you're going to hold on tight to what you cherish and to what you love. And money is very important and you have to learn a healthy relationship with money because money is energy and you have to love money in a healthy state of that energy in order for more money to keep coming back to you. Okay. And whenever you're holding on too tight and you don't release and you let go of something, then it can't come back to you because it's the give and take, you know, the reciprocity, the back and forth, what you put out comes back. Okay integration and in moment to moment okay we've got navigating by the stars follow your bliss great adventure take a risk venture forward okay you're coming out of this karmic energy here focusing on your well-being your beauty and think of this four of pentacles here as protection as well. Okay, so your money's protected. Your integration is protected from moment to moment. You don't have to feel suppressed anymore. You're beautiful. Your spirit is beautiful. And you're, you're shedding the old so that the new version of your higher self can come forward and shine through you. Okay. We have divine order. Pra practice patience. So everything's going to happen in divine timing. Exactly how it should and exactly when it should. Okay. But you have to be persistent in your growth and you have to be doing things and not just sitting still and stagnant. You, you need to stay constant on manifesting and moving forward and your soul growth and, and moving forward. Okay. That we got the ant perseverance. This is a message of patience. Whatever is going on right now, you cannot be so impetuous by placing yourself. I'm sorry, by pacing yourself, the end result will be far more rewarding. Slow down, don't rush, work carefully, and learn to accept help from others. Wow, come through spirit. So, you know, soul growth, soul growth and your healing work takes time. It's a process, and it's a lifelong process. And so, you know, you're going to start wanting to go in and work more with that and there's so many different modalities of healing that are available to you that at certain stages of your of your path of enlightenment one thing may work really really well for you during that time and then at another stage of your of your walk <clears throat> it may not resonate as much as something else does and it's because of how you're clearing the energy and um, what's going on at that time and what's already been healed and now what's coming forward to be healed next or, you know, so there's different, there's so many different forms, but they can all incorporate to work in tandem and in unison with one another. Okay. So, and there's a lot of uh, different types of healing, energy, Reiki, um, reflexology, um, acupressure, acupuncture, chiropractor, um, 
binaural beats, yoga, working out at the gym, being out in nature, exercising, breath work, meditation, crystal healing, chakra healing, tarot readings. There's so many different things and there's more than that, but there's so many, you know, and your diet and everything. It's, it's, it's all connected to create and integrate a beautiful state of being. Okay. So we're practicing patience because everything is happening in divine order. Okay. We're persevering through this because it's hard and it's arduous and we want things to happen immediately and it doesn't always happen that way you could get frustrated and then that could halt you on your path but don't allow that to happen just understand that maybe there's a pause there because there's other things that you're still healing on that you may have already addressed and not realizing that healing is still taking place okay We've got politics, you know, and you've also got the daily hustles of everyday life with the world events, with your own home and personal events going on, okay? And that's the Seven of Swords, so it's it can be, you know, a criminal in your life or um, it can feel like a thief in, in your life, like something's stealing the essence of, of your being that you want to be there and you start realizing that that's what's going on because it is, it's like... A, like your sense of self was stolen and you're finding out how to get that back and, to, and who it is and you're getting to know yourself in such a profound way and how deep and powerful and miraculous you actually are as a human being because we're spiritual beings having a human experience and when you can connect it, it all and start tapping into um, the profound consciousness of it all it, it's it's unreal it's just unreal okay so but these other things in our lives are, are like thieves they like steal that time even you know if you have to go to work and and work all day and you may want to sit at home and just only work in your spirit which it would be my dream come true but you know and do, do this for you guys you know and not have to work another job and be able to work from home doing this that's what i'm working towards i'm striving for that <laughs> that's my goal but um so i can share my gifts and because that's where all my passion is and all these outside things going going on they don't they're they don't I mean I guess in a sense that they serve me in a sense yes but it's not where my soul wants to be you know and it feels like it's being taken from me because I have to put so much energy into it when I would rather redirect my energy to where I want it to be for something that's going to increase my soul growth and help the collective that's my passion you know but my kundalini is very activated <laughs> obviously okay <laughs> all right and next oh and that's the four of, or of pinnacles uh we get postponement so you know it's a time of reflection and it's a time of rest and it's a time of introspection and this is also like meditation okay it's laying down in bed you know meditating praying um lay down in bed and put some crystals on you on your chakra centers meditate with like if you're new to it there's so many awesome guided meditations to help you you know start getting used to it and just let the thoughts come forward just keep yourself peaceful if you fall asleep that's okay your higher self is still retaining the meditation and applying it to the energetic being okay 29 minutes exactly on the clock okay and that's 11, which is 2, which is high priestess. So that's your intuition is going to start awakening. You're going to start trusting it more. You're going to start tapping in to that beautiful high priestess energy in and of self. Okay. And then we got healing. This is the king of cups here. So you're doing your healing work. And the king of cups can be a father or a husband. Okay, or just, you know, I'm hearing this is like masculine energy here, divine masculine. It's a deep connection to spirituality and intuition, um, emotional balance, compassion, wisdom, um, spiritual guidance. 
mastery um, or it's emotional mastery actually loyalty and devotion so being devoted to it being loyal to spiritual guidance that you're receiving from spirit and from others who could be helping guide you on your journey and we're all going to find people and teachers that just appear for such a magical time in our lives and it's profound what their guidance can do to help lead us on our paths and that's what I hope to do for you guys okay because I have been so blessed in my path with that for me and I definitely want to help be that for others as well okay that's my life purpose it's why I'm here okay but you have a deep connection to spirituality and intuition and you're tapping in and you're mastering your emotions and you're healing the emotions and you're practicing patience you're not reactive you're responding you're not reacting you're realizing that you can sit back and don't have to say anything because you get to realize I am not putting any of my energy into that <laughs> I'm not doing it and you start healing because you start realizing that you are heard in and of self you don't have to react so that you can be heard you see what I'm saying you learn to listen to self and it gives you a state of inner peace and calm that starts to come in with that okay <clears throat> so release any guilt guilt and shame block the solar or the sacral chakra okay and um, that's the region of sexuality and creativity and think empress energy and anything that you want to manifest and create upon the earth plane and guilt is the eight of swords you're feeling trapped feeling confined feeling constricted could feel like you are trapped in this old version of self and you just want to bust out of that internal prison and shine your big bold light really beautifully and so bright you're so bright shine bright okay we got awareness it's the chariot could be vehicles but you know positive movement forward triumph through determination self-control and overcoming obstacles it's where this perseverance is paying off you know You're stepping into power I see this is like the hermit you are strong beyond measure fellow travelers support is all around you soul family is coming going to start coming into your life you're going to start meeting people who are more in tune with you and the ones that aren't they're going to fall away it's part of the journey it's what happens you're in people's lives for a time and then it's time to move on and you have to learn that that's how cycles of life are going to continue some may be there through your whole journey most of them will not okay and you start to learn who's going to come with you and who you're going to leave behind send them along their way with love through at 33 33 on the clock and move forward and don't let someone else's soul growth in the level that they're on hold you back from your level of soul growth that you're on okay forgiveness will bring you peace forgiveness is a way to detach from it completely to cut the energetic cord forgiveness is for yourself it does not condone the behavior of the other person it does not validate or justify what they did in any way shape form or fashion it has nothing to do with any of that it has everything to do with you clearing that energy out of your existence and out of your being so that they don't steal your power and hold space in you anymore in a place that they have no right to be because they don't deserve to be in there they don't deserve to be in your energy clear your energetic field of that shit and get rid of it release that karma you're clearing the karma out and that forgiveness of forgiving those people understand that they had a role to play in your life life is divinely orchestrated 
You have soul contracts that you have to go through. These people played the part they were supposed to for your soul growth that you're going through right now. And you played a role in their life for their soul growth. You learn lessons from each other. It's how you grow. It's how you evolve. And you have to see that these people came here as this character in, in your book of life to play that role for you to have that experience, to feel those feelings and to trigger that trauma that could be going on through multiple past lives. And with this experience, you're going to help clear it out for good. So it's not going to continue into the next life and into your continuous energy of your bloodline. You're clearing it. You're stopping the cycles. You're recognizing it. You're seeing the patterns. You're understanding, even though it may be extremely hard and profound to try and wrap your brain around it because it's horrific, horrendous trauma and affliction that you endured. And trust me, I have a lot of that in my life, but I've healed it. And I understand why they were there. Only because I know that it's a role that that person had to play in my life to make me as strong as I fucking am today. And I thank them for it because all they did was level me up. They can sit back there in their nasty, shitty, evil fucking energy all they want. But all they did was level me up and make my light even stronger and even brighter. And I refuse to allow them back in my energy or to take my peace. They have no power over me. It's gone. It's done. It's healed. They can't trigger me. There's no trauma connected to it anymore. It's gone. I forgave them. Sent them on with love in my heart. And I freed myself from the prison. From the eight of swords. That they kept me in. Making me feel guilty. If I didn't do something that, you know, that they would normally expect. Well, she'll be back or she'll let me keep abusing or doing what the fuck ever. No. Send them on their way. Forgive them and be like, yeah. And then forgive yourself for, you know, not seeing sooner what was the the purpose. But you see it exactly whenever you can. So you have all these thoughts of what of how guilt could come in. Don't let that guilt come in. Everything happened exactly how it was supposed to. And release the trauma of feeling guilty even can create trauma. You could feel so guilty all the time for, oh, well, this person is expecting this from you and this from you and this from you and this from you. And all you do is spread yourself thin for everyone else and you don't give to yourself. And they don't give that back to you. And you can't feel guilty for constantly giving of yourself and getting nothing in return and then you not being able to have enough energy to love yourself and that's why you have to start learning to eliminate people from your existence and from your being because they they don't serve you they served a purpose for you to recognize what you don't want to be there anymore so that you can grow from it and not allow that to continue All right okay now we got High Priestess. Expanding Consciousness. Yes. 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 And we got Dolphin. Peace. The gentle nature of the Dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. Trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. <clears throat> yes. We got ripeness. It's the nine of pentacles. Affluence. Single, sufficient, most likely celibate, luxury, wealth, security, stability. You can take care of yourself. You're strong and powerful and independent in and of self. We got the lovers. So your relationship has put you into the nine of pentacles. Or now that you're single and you're doing this work, a new healthy lover is getting ready to come in. Okay. And you're also 
clearing the karma of past lovers. Okay. And you're focusing, you can look at the nine of pentacles as focusing on self and observing the trauma of relationships. Okay. To where you can take care of yourself and not be codependent on another. All right. The nine of pentacles, you know, and the lovers, that's just relationships. It's just all about when you're single and when you're with a partner, okay? And then the, the lovers doesn't have to just be romantic. It's, it's friends, co-workers, family members, strangers, soulmates, you know? Okay, but you're, <clears throat> you're gentle and you look for the good in everyone and you strive to bring peace to your life and those people around you you're a good person we got the creator the king of wands it's charismatic a compelling charm which inspires devotion in others People like to be around you, and you like to be around people. You're very charismatic. You make friends easily. People are drawn to you and your energy. We got playfulness, which is the page of wands. To be like the announcement of good news coming in. It's an adventurous, ambitious spirit, energetic and active. You like to have fun, you know, you like to go places and do things. Be playful in your spirit and bring in that childlike energy to help you heal the inner child. And we have patience. To okay, have patience while your consciousness is expanding. The seven of pentacles like a laborer so you're working on it you're working on being independent you're working on your relationships you're working on being more charismatic and inspiring devotion in yourself and others and you're patiently working on the labor that it's taking to do all of this okay as you're tapping in your intuition here with this high priestess energy and you're tapping into self. We're answering the call. The time is now. To so traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Yeah. Get rid of what you don't need. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. Declutter your space. Commitment. Make a commitment to changing your life for the better and working with this energy, okay? And be patient because it you're gonna you're gonna learn patience because it takes time. But you have to be committed to it and not give up because it's a lifelong journey. And it takes strength and courage to get through it. It's not easy, okay? Your dream state. You get messages and downloads in your dreams. Your guides communicate with you through your dreams. Your dreams are coming true. They're going to start coming true. You're going to start manifesting your dreams. Okay? Because you're starting to tap it in with spirit. Yeah. Soulmate. Clearing core wounds. We've got cougar. Leadership. You have come into your own power. Now is the time to take the lead of a situation and be strong. Using the power of intentions. Be clear with your purpose and define where you are heading. Okay. We got guidance. It's the three of pentacles. So this could be like your job or the craft that you work on. Okay. <clears throat> the seven of swords. Projections. I'm sorry, not the seven of swords, the seven of cups. Um, it's imagination, choices, options. We have change, 
the will, luck, fate, and destiny, fortune, success, and elevation. Okay. And we have schizophrenia, which is the two of swords. And with projections right above that, you know, um, sometimes in Kundalini awakening, you can have hallucinations. Could be part of it. Um, or maybe you see things clairvoyantly and people could say that that you're, you know, have schizophrenia or that you're crazy and you're not, okay? But the Two of Swords is decision. It's an overwhelming fear of, or worry and anxiety and stress that could be going on. Um, looking inward, not outward. Finding in possession of an awesome power that protects you until you find the direction to apply it in. So, you know, you're not crazy. You're going with the flow. It's the Ace of Cups. It's love. Your time is coming. New relationships could be coming in. It's compassion and creativity. Powerful emotional connection. Look at the world through the eyes of the divine. It's the Ace of Cups. You're going with the flow. And you're starting to have these clear, these core wounds are clearing as this karma is clearing. You're tapping into your high priestess divine feminine energy. The wheel is turning in your favor. Good changes are coming. You're grounding. Go deep and explore your roots. Get in there. Do that, do that inner healing work. So you can go through this transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Okay. Finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. Yeah. You're up in the clouds. Spirit. <laughs> yeah. And this big phoenix flies you right up there to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you really have to ground once you come back down. <laughs> We have inspiration and financial health. So maybe something inspiring is going to increase your financial health. And it has to do with your life purpose. Because you've got new beginnings coming in. Okay. You may have a new career offer coming in here collected. Okay. Or you're going to manifest that for yourself so that you can do the career for what you want it to be. Okay. Now. You're going to take leadership over your life and bring that in for yourself because you're on the Voyager's journey. You're past life healing right now. That owl with observation. You are being encouraged to look beyond deceiving appearances into the true reality of a situation or a person's motives. You need to hear what is really being said despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger. Yeah. Past life healing. Look beyond deceiving appearances into the true reality of a situation or a person's motives. Ty Priestess right here. You're going to be able to start seeing right through people. <laughs> You're a human lying lie. You're a human. You are a walking lie detector. Okay. Like you can see that bullshit even before it happens. You need to hear what is really being said despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger. So from whoever is saying it to you. Okay. We have adventure. It's the page of pentacles. A lesson in how to perform manifestation and what it takes for it to work. And the Page of Pentacles can be a payment and an offer. Okay. But you're learning how to manifest. And how to perform manifestation. And what it takes for you to manifest. So you're tapping into your power and into your energy. And you're learning how to do that. Because there's multiple aspects of the being that have to be activated for that to manifest, right? We got courage, which is strength. 
you're very strong and you're courageous as you're going through this journey. You're you're very keen and uh, you're observing. You're starting to see through the eyes of the divine. <clears throat> you're calm. You have an inner gentle strength. But you're fierce. And if you got to pop off, you can pop off. <laughs> okay. But you don't. <laughs> you keep that. That's It's so... You're so powerful when you can control your emotions. You're so powerful. Control. Wow. Yeah. You're controlling your emotions. Okay. And it's the king of swords. Could be, you know, could be a soldier. King of swords is a soldier. Um, but mental clarity and intellectual power, authority and truth. Okay. Stand in your authority. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. You're very intelligent. Your high priestess energy, divine feminine energy is flowing. The kundalini is awakening. You have mental clarity. You're exhausted. <laughs> You're exhausted. This journey is exhausting. The nine of wands. Defensive. How to defend yourself from your life. Literally. The three of Swords. Ice. Olation. All the heartbreak. The injury. The pain. The suffering that you've endured. Has made you so strong. And you don't give yourself enough credit. And the more that you heal that trauma. And the more that you heal this past life energy. And this energy that's going on right now. Because we not only have to heal what's happening in our life that we can physically be a part of at this time. We have past life energy that we're healing too. It's a lot going on. There are many levels of the being. <laughs> and they all interconnect. <laughs> you gotta, you got to overstand it. Okay? And you have to understand it. Okay? You've got you to gotta realize. Staying focused. Okay? Learning to see how big you are. Hold the course. You're staying focused and you're holding the course. Okay? You're protected by angels. And you are cherished by the angels. Archangel Michael here with his mighty sword. You could have reconciliation with your family. Reconciliation with your psychic abilities is definitely going on. And you're healing. And it's creating happiness. And the more you heal, the happier you're going to be. And as you start understanding the reason of why it all had to happen. And then you're happy when you're like, God, I've overcome all that. Look how strong I am. Look at what I've learned. Look at who, look at what these situations have formed me to be. And it's so unique and profound of how you are created. So be proud of your creation. Be, be one with it. It's beautiful. You're a beautiful existence and you're so unique that there's no one that can ever be like you. 53.53 on the clock. It's beautiful. Heal abandonment. We have a lot of us struggle with abandonment wounds. It's time to forgive. The panther. Guidance. It is time to release your passions. Live your dreams and begin a new chapter in your life. You are encouraged to expand your awareness. Eliminate fears and become a whole new person. Yes, come to spirit. You are guided and protected. And I'm just seeing the nine of pentacles here in my mind. So when you heal these abandonment wounds, it's okay. You're not scared to be alone. 
and you learn to embrace your alone time and love it and you learn to you will get to a point of where it's like you can't function without it like you have to have it like there's no way especially if you're an empath you have to it's the only time that you can heal and recharge and rejuvenate your being in a really healthy way okay with no one else pulling on your energy so that way you can restore and rebalance yourself okay and you have to do it every day you have to do it every day it's important and we have laziness yeah you can't be lazy you have to do the work okay it's the nine of cups you're happy maybe you're just happy laying around and resting you know and that's okay too because when you're doing your inner healing journey you have to rest you have to you you know you have to have your lazy time you can't just go 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 all the time you have to make time for self to rest and recuperate and regenerate okay it's so important but the nine of cups is also wishes being fulfilled you know the fulfillment of wishes and we got the devil conditioning. Obsession. Could have had like an obsession with being lazy. <laughs> okay. An obsession with laziness. <laughs> um, separation, independence, kicking the habit, freedom, revelation, control, and realization. So these things have been conditioned and you could have become obsessed with the ideology that that's how it was supposed to be but it's not and when you start learning that you don't have to have someone there or the fear of oh my god they're going to leave me and be strong enough in and of yourself to have enough power in and of yourself to not fear that you're you're healed and healthy inside to where it's you're not scared to be alone and it's a beautiful transition that has been conditioned over you through your life because we're like oh well, we have to have somebody with us what if what am I going to do I, I can't I can't survive my life if I'm alone it's not true <laughs> you know it's not true that we've been conditioned to think that and to feel that through very bad codependent relationships throughout our life that have conditioned that that in our being okay. But there's a revelation <laughs> that it is, you know, being seen so that you can start to control anything from getting to that point. You know, you can control the situations where it doesn't go there. We've got the fool. We've got new beginnings that you're going on. You're going on a whole new journey. You're going on a whole new beautiful journey of self. Self-discovery, self-love tour. 2024. We're on it. The fool is just new, beautiful beginnings coming in. <laughs> and it can be like naivety, innocence, purity, um, excitement. It's that inner child, that, you know, like a like a restoration of of the innocence of the of the childlike being. Of what we were born with the beautiful innocence it's like becoming a virgin it's like becoming pure and pure and cleansed and clear and purified all over again okay and we got the six of wands victorious successful you're admired in the public eye we are the world. I'm going to show the Ten of Pentacles here. Just showing the world and generous with the world and with sharing your gifts and your the the wealth that you encompass in spirit. Okay, you have a beautiful home to where you have it created as a sacred space. You know, you make a house a home, your home in and of self. It's material and financial prosperity and you're going to have success coming in taking shelter in this home the home of self the answers are within it's this hermit's light right here go in and journey and do your work get to know who your higher self is there 
God, they're profound. <laughs> they're profound. <laughs> Get to know your higher self. Talent. You're very talented. There's something that you do, you're so talented at, and you need to do it. It's part of your life purpose, okay? And these answers, you're here from your spirit guides. Look. And you're taking shelter in spirit. And they're increasing your talents. And you're receiving the answers as you go within. You're safe to go within and, and to receive the answers from spirit. Your guides are with you. As you go on this new, successful, beautiful journey that you're going on. As you're healing these abandonment wounds. Wow. And then the panther, again, it's guidance here. Your spirit guides and your guidance. Release your passions and live your dreams. Begin a new chapter in your life. You are encouraged to expand your awareness. Eliminate fears and become a whole new person. You are guided and protected. Yes, you fucking are. Come through, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Oh, this is so beautiful. Honor your agreement. Your mission is in motion. That sheep and innocence. You are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. Oh my God, that's what I was just saying. Wow. Yeah, and then we have playfulness over here, too. See? You gotta play with your inner child and have fun with, with your inner child. So much fun. It's like a big kid. It's good for you. Stop clinging to the past. We've got the five of cups here. You can have some grief, you know, that you need to release, okay? Honor your agreement. Grieve the past. Don't cling to it. You can't live in the past. You have to let go of the past to make room for the new and the future to come in. If you're living in the past, you're going to deal with depression. If you live in the future, you're going to deal with anxiety. You have to live in the present moment and the here and now. And then be able to identify of where your emotions are in past, present, and future. Okay? And then focus on present so that you can heal the past. Okay? And not be too worried about the future because the more that you work in the present to heal the past, the better the future is going to be because you're manifesting and creating it to be that way because it's going to be healed. And you're not going to be repeating the same patterns that you're going forward in because you're not healing the past because you're too worried about what's coming in the future. If you want a good future, you have to heal the past. The dream. The six of cups. Nostalgic. Child. Children. Childhood memories. Okay. Okay. Don't live in the past. And then the five of cups right beside it is clinging to the past. And the, the six of cups is literally means cling or that you don't live in the past. Okay. And then we have the six of pentacles, compromise, equal give and take, giving and receiving, reciprocity. Okay. Sharing and being able to accept gifts and be okay with help, accepting help from others and giving help to others. Treat others how you want to be treated. We have fighting. Okay. It's the knot of swords. Rescue. You're fighting for yourself. You're rescuing yourself. You're rescuing yourself. You're honoring your, your soul contracts and your agreement. This is part of your mission. And now that you're doing this, your mission is in motion and you're moving forward with a whole new level of profound understanding on how to do so. Okay. You're taking action. The Knot of Swords is action, ambition, intellectual prowess. You're manifesting what you desire. And we have understanding. The Page of Cups. This is a child. So from what you've learned from your childhood up into your adulthood. The pursuit of noble, high-minded ideals. Introverted, dreamy, and sensitive. Predicts an igniting of desire in the future. Okay? You're manifesting a beautiful new future. The gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. Take passion. Look, you're passionate. Look, you're marching in. You're, you're this beautiful night. You're marching in. 
You've got so much courage. You take action with passion as you walk through these gates of triumph and your valiant courage. Love and willpower and boundaries. Your boundaries have helped create stronger sense in your willpower and your willpower is going to help you create firm boundaries because you love yourself and you have to do that in order to protect and love yourself. Okay. Karmic purge. Mirror reflections. We got raccoon. Letting go. This message has to do with those things to which you cling. The past. Be it a thought. <laughs> I had to. Yeah, guess what the past gets to do? The past gets to fuck off, okay? So that we can heal it. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck off, past. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now, letting go. This message has to do with those things to which you cling. Be it a thought form, habit, creed, or situation, the time has come from letting go. Something is halting your progress, and you are spinning your wheels. Once you embrace change, blessings will flow. You know, so don't block your blessings. Don't block yourself. You can't get a hold of it. Okay, the karmic purge, mirror reflections, the master. Okay. Okay, so the master, recognize the master within us. We are the leader and creator of our own lives when we view them from a high level, from our higher selves perspective. Okay, so like the master is an extra card in the Osho, in the Osho Zen Tarot. Um, the box is. Uh, okay, anyway, but so it's like. It's not a major arcana or a minor arcana. It's an extra card. So it's like the master of self. Okay. As this karmic purge is happening, you're mastering yourself. Okay. And we have harmony. The Ten of Cups. So beautiful emotional wish fulfillment and self and family. Okay. A beautiful, happy uh, family and home. That's. You know, just happy and emotionally just joyful and balanced, okay? And we have the mind. So you're in harmony in your mind, okay? And this is um, the Page of Swords. It's urgent, inquisitive, quick-witted communication, excellent communication skills, and a natural curiosity about the world around you. Um, you need to avoid gossip, okay? Like gossip is not good, so don't don't get trapped up in that because it can definitely affect the mind. Okay, but you're mastering the mind. You're becoming in harmony with your mind and with your thoughts and with your emotions. You're turning in the four of cups. Could be disappointed in some stuff that you know for sure you're going to experience disappointment. But you've got interest and focus and self awareness. You're focusing on the positive, gratitude, seizing the opportunity, letting go of regrets. Um, it's an end of stagnation. You've got motivation and enthusiasm and you're being productive. You're figuring out what you really want. You're creating habits and routines, okay, to take steps to put your well-being first and allow yourselves the space and time to dive into your emotional realm, okay? get in there and want to be in there um it's a time for being alone with self having you can have a twisted perception of reality all right and we've got consciousness which is the ace of swords it's analytical okay intellectual energy ideas plans vision and communication it's the it's truth okay clarity of thought a breakthrough success Victory. It gives you the strength to confront situations that don't mesh with your understanding of things and the presence of mind to articulate your position. Okay? So, that's awesome. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> so on the bottom of the deck, we've got the chosen one. Fast track to ascension. And we have the source, the ace of wands. So a fiery, new, passionate, fast track to ascension. Okay. Humming, hummingbird is lightness. It's time for you to pursue your dreams with determination. By doing this, you will make them a reality. Joy is just around the corner, but you have to believe that it is possible to manifest your visions. Stop waiting and doubting. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, expand, or through gratitude joy expands. And you have to keep yourself in a state of gratitude because when you do that, Spirit is going to bless you with more, okay? And we have empowerment. Wow, it's amazing how this reading has come through. Come through, Spirit. Thank you. Transformation. Use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. T willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. And if you can't compromise with someone else and you compromise 111 on the clock, you compromise to where you love yourself enough to not deal with that conflict of something that may not be able to be resolved. You remove yourself from that shit. Trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. Yes. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Actions. Or I'm sorry, action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Yeah. You can't love someone the right way if you don't love yourself. Discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Yes. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. And on the bottom of the deck, we got individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything that you do. Good job, Collective. Wonderful. All right, guys. So this is going to be our reading. This has been hopefully something that will help you on your healing journey. And I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you again soon with another one. Bye, Collective.